Hi, it's Sunday the 24th of May 2020 and today we're in day four of creating Heaven on Earth Wave Spell. Yesterday we were on day three, so yesterday was the day of alchemy on the 23rd of May and we're in this new moon energy so the sliver of the new moon just starting to show now we're in waxing moon in gemini and it's at 23 degrees at the moment a tunnel created by trees intervention by your own greater self within the patterns of the personal story a vision is granted a way is shown yet to follow it will mean many shatterings a cosmic future realm uncompromising and magnificent. Vibrant and cocky, the power of the crown. The truth that takes you by surprise. So much is opening. All you need is to be there and ask. The expanded eye aimed directly at you and drawing you through. So this also goes with the star card 17 and I've got links on flow with joe for that flowwithjoe.com and on my youtube channel so in terms of the star this is really about i know energy and really being in that vibration in terms of my signs that's red earth which is a key castle for me and today we are in day four. So day four of any 13 day cycle is self-existing day. And we're down here. There we go. There's a blue tech. So the, the planet for today is Saturn. So key to our Saturnian patterns. It's a mastery sign. It's number 16. And... Tomorrow we have got a clear sign coming up. So tomorrow is going to be very significant around what we need to get clear of. Mastery tomorrow. But I will be doing a mini blog on that. So in terms of Saturnian patterns, again, ta -da, good old IKEA. This is the labyrinth. Also looks quite like a brain, doesn't it? Yeah, and as you can see, again with the sacred geometry, we've got balance there of the six. So again, Gemini is the third astrological sign that we're in the sun and the moon of, and lots of activity going on there with lots of planets at the moment, North Node in Gemini, Venus in Gemini going retrograde, and really connecting to this energy around what we value, what we love, working with the shadow is key to create heaven on earth. In terms of the mind cast today, the mind oracle is White World Bridger, and so letting go of old worlds, and that's coming up as the next 13 day cycle. So that's coming up in nine days time and it's going to be really big for Venus at that point because Venus begins the star on that day, the new star. So again, I'm going to be blogging about this over the next week. In terms of goddess cards, we've got Quan Yin, which is compassion. So compassion, compassion, empathy, being able to feel compassionate. This is the Buddha process, isn't it? And feeling compassionate is a whole different way of being for the human being. This is the emotional evolution. This is what I offer you. Understanding this is really key for our personal evolution and our heart path. So in terms of energy, in terms of healing the energy body, in terms of these amazing cutting edge 
energy therapies that we have now, it's understanding that the heart is the emperor, the heart and coming into balance with the heart and the mind, letting the heart embody the wisdom is key to today. Being on the heart path, being a warrior of the heart is not about fighting anything. It's about healing our heart and changing our literal holograph in the world. Uh, this is a big project on planet Earth right now. There are a lot of people out there who are really talking the talk and focusing on letting go of being disempowered, being controlled, being manipulated, being coerced, being codependent. This is what the, the Mayan wave spell is all about, is understanding the shift that we're making now, this huge cosmic leap in our evolution, which is already scripted. It's about understanding how we got ourselves into a codependent way of being, a power imbalance, how we've learned to relate. So again, very much focusing on the narcissist pattern and the empath pattern and seeing that in particular in our own Saturnian patterns, in our own family history and understanding that in, on a very deep esoteric level that the reason why things are happening now are actually for evolution. And we can do lots of things on the outside. We can do lots of changes. We can feel lots of emotions right now around anger, around feeling that we are not being allowed to be our true nature. And what I offer you is the key here is to really start to map your own story and know why this is showing up for you now. Because the reason that it's showing up for you now is because it's happened in the past. When we heal the past, then we become a lot more present emotionally. We don't keep running the same old codes, the same old storylines, because we have learned what created them. We have learned how to heal them. We have learned how to come into our emotional center we become a lot more confident over doing this process. We become really empowered in terms of embodiment. Our chi flows and we don't have the same energy blockages in our body. We don't need to go through the same life experiences anymore because what I offer you is this is a giant mystery school now. It's a time for human evolution in terms of we're all in it and this is using the term second coming of christ we're all embodying christ consciousness so again this isn't a religious thing at all this is about understanding the process of an empowered human being who realizes that there is a template to follow around truth authenticity health most of the frameworks that we've been conditioned to believe in do not create this outcome for human beings. So again, using a different language in terms of modeling, we want to create a model for ourselves to live by where, for example, we have people in positions of power who are integrated, healthy, caring, compassionate human beings who wants to be the change in this world and let people be empowered, let people be learning how to live from the heart and to heal all these thousands of years of very damaged ways of being a human being and very masculine energy ways of controlling other people in order to feel safe which is perfectly understandable we've learned lots of coping mechanisms around how to stay alive 
by enabling narcissists, for example, by doing lots of things on the outside to try and control our environment, try and earn lots of money, for example, to keep ourselves safe, to keep a roof over our head. But what's actually happening now is a huge pattern shift around this, where although astrologically, energetically, cos using the cosmology of the wave spell, since 2012, we've started a new pattern a new timeline and so all of this is going on but there's a lot of people who are not wanting to let go of the past they're not wanting to let go of their power they're not wanting to let go of how they do things because that's how the emotional mind is works so that's how the saturnian code process wanting to do things the old ways and of course there is some wisdom there around old ways as well but in terms of the culture, most of the culture is around youth. It isn't about wisdom and having elders who are wise in most of mainstream society. It's about having a lot of frameworks there where we have older people in power and they've been there using these frameworks, especially in the UK for hundreds of years and having a close look at that now is that serving us now is our structure around how we do society serving us now and I think most people would agree that in whatever framework whatever viewpoint they have that something isn't serving us now it needs to be adapted there needs to be changes because we've all become very codependent again now with the things that are happening on planet earth and we're being made to do certain behaviors we're being made to do certain financial structures that are not healthy for us and people are questioning these and this energy is going to increase and expand and needs to be examined now again what i'm going to offer you is to change the outside we have to change the inside and it's important to heal all of our previous disempowerment issues right the way back they were all formed in childhood they're in our dna and so using energy therapies to heal does allow us to change our DNA and to get clear and the Mayan wave spell offers us a complete template where you can discover your codes and see everything mapped out it is totally wow blows me away every day so if you'd like to know more about how this works how you can start working it for you this is key to your own personal empowerment learning how to do this process for yourself please get in touch with me my blog is flowwithjo.com lots of love hope you have an amazing day of seeing your patterns and seeing where you are on the hard path. Thank you.